Hello all, Terhi here again. Uh, today I'm playing with HipKit Club February Kit and I'm showing you how to make something more with your any kits or supply, supplies you have have in your work table. I'm showing you how to alter uh, the girls and how to make a unique background uh, with products you may have got already or actually with a product you have already. <laughs> so let's see what I for me, making a layout starts wherever and whenever, like this page. I don't know if you want to hear it, but yes, I got inspiration during when I was in a bathroom. Uh, so I decided to use a toilet paper roll for this layout because I haven't done it for a while. And I thought it would be a nice way to add some texture paste on the background. So first layer of texture paste is uh, white and with these little dots. And then ta -ta -ra -ta -ta, I'm using a, a toilet paper roll with the similar texture paste we had in February color kits. Uh, I'm just rolling it. Uh, to the texture, texture paste and then I'm stamping it to the background and I'm doing this with the paste and not with any paint because it's much much uh, more cleaner this way and it's also very uh, gives a much um, texture on the paste Pap, page I'm very sorry to speak really really bad English today, but uh, you can always turn the mute on if you wish so, or then just take it as a stand-up show or something to listen to me. So that was uh, quite fun and I love the way that you can actually use the pa leftover paste uh, next time if you mix some paint with something you may not uh, use it again, so there's no leftovers and that's always nice. Uh, then I'm cutting off the word and the star I'm going to use uh, for my title. Uh, my photograph tells about seeing sunshine for the first time this spring and it was a big hooray for me because I love la light and we don't have that much light in Finland during the winter, so it's always so happy moment to see sunshine. So I'm using a Versamark pen to add some Versamark ink to this uh, word and the star. And you can use the ink pad also, but this is much neater way to add the Versamark ink to this and then I'm making my first embossing powder layer uh, with white embossing powder. Uh, I'm doing this embossing thing in two layers because I wanted the black thickers to be completely uh, white first on top and then when it's completely white then I'm adding some shiny uh, embossing powder which give, gives all, only the sh uh, sheen for the title. Uh, you can also use some white embossing powder which has already the sheen in it but I wanted to do it this way because uh, the outcome is a bit different this way than with the only one layer of the embossing powder but that's if you like it though. Uh, then, as you see now, the uh, yellow circles looks like a little... Mm, well, they don't look like they supposed to be there. So I wanted to add some turquoise water, wa watercolor with a watercolor pencil uh, to make uh, some shades to the background and to make those circles look th like they supposed to be there. Uh, this is just a simple little trick, but it always works and it's it's really fun to add some little details with your pencil to the layout when it's almost completed. Uh, the last phase is to add some, some mist drops 
or ink drops and today I'm using uh, this new uh, green uh, splash ink from 13 Arts and I think it's quite nice to have these colors uh, from teal to uh, green and to yellow in sa it's the same layout it, it looks very nice anyway that was it for today I hope you are inspired to um, alter your figures it's always fun and it's quite easy and it's good way to start your mixed media journey or, <laughs> or something so thank you for uh, for watching this today and we'll see you soon hopefully with a better voice and better English so thank you for watching and bye